Hyundai definitely wanted to repeat the success of Itan and that's why we are here with the new model, the Grand Itan. Basically, this is the new Itan but Hyundai doesn't want to stop selling the current model so they renamed it as the Grand Itan. The Grand Itan specifically designed for India with increased wheelbase and a much more pleasing styling than the international version. It's bigger than the current model. The sleek front grille, distinctly designed fog lamps, swept back headlights and taillights, roof rails, and the diamond cut alloy wheels deserve special attention and make it really stylish among the competition. It's the interiors where Hyundai has shown their excellence. The design is more mature and quality is top notch. Feels like the inside of a premium segment car. The two-tone dash design which has high quality black finish on the upper portion and coffee beach on the lower is pleasant for the eyes. The multi-function steering wheel is a boon to the driver and is great to hold. The gear lever position is spot on. The integrated Tudin music system, the switches, knobs and other parts have premium feel. Overall, the dash design and quality makes it feel like a proper European car. The equipment list is long for the Grand item. Few of the segment first features are the multifunction tilt adjustable steering, electric mirrors, keyless entry, cooled glove box, Bluetooth audio with 1GB memory and optional airbag or ABS safety systems. The front seats are large and supportive though doesn't have split headrest. The surprising element is the space at rear. The additional 40mm wheelbase makes Grant really spacious for a car of this size. The rear seat is perfectly anchored with a good thigh support. Headroom is also decent and rear AC winds provide more comfort for the passengers. Boot space is a decent 256 liters and foldable rear seats will improve luggage room. The car comes with two engine options, the 1.2 copper motor and the much awaited smaller diesel engine. We are driving the 1.1 CRDI diesel which is derived from bigger 1.4 liter motor present in i20. Coming to the specifications, this is a 3 cylinder engine delivering 70 bhp of power and 160 Nm of torque. Unlike the three-cylinder engines of Beat and Polo, this is really refined and well-tuned. The turbo lag is negligible. With four passengers on board and with AC on all the time, we didn't feel any lack of power in normal city drive. But top and performance is not up to the mark. Highway overtaking won't be as quick as the multi-jet rivals. The clutches light and gear shifts are accurate. The steering response is much improved, it's not feather light and weighs better at high speed. The suspension is McPherson stood at the front and torsion beam at the rear with gas charge shock absorber on all four wheels. Hyundai engineers have focused more on the ride quality and the results are positive. Not only really that, handling, stability and braking is also better than current model. And overall, the Grand Item is well engineered and performs really better than the previous model. Fuel efficiency is 24 km per litre ARAI certified, which is higher than the multi jet competition. The new Grand Item is a huge improvement over the current item. Hyundai has taken in all the market feedback to improve every aspect of this car. It's stylish, comes with high quality interiors. Lots of comfort features, easier to drive and fuel efficient too. For those who are looking out for a new city hatchback, a new grand item deserves to be on the top of prospective cast list.